се занимава со истражување и обезбедување на маркетинг алатки за дигитални комуникации. Доаѓа од ИА Полска, а на Олвет ексклузивно ќе ги представи резултатите од првото диджитал скоп истражување спроведено од ИА и во Македонија. Поздравете го, Павел Коленда! Good morning, everybody. First of all, thank you very much for invitation. I'd like to tell you today a few details about the study we conducted in eight countries uh, of our region. The study was called Digital Scope. Uh, and it was conducted in eight countries uh, of Central Southeastern Europe. You can see the list on the slide. Uh, and at the same time, I would also like to thank a lot uh, all those who contributed to the project as uh, it was possible to do it, thanks to help of many entities, of many publishers, networks, and uh, uh, also local research institute. Altogether, uh, we conducted in the region more than, I mean in all, all countries, more than 22,000 interviews. Uh, and uh, in Macedonia, it was, the sample size was 1,500 of internet users, uh, which are 15 years, 16 years old or older. Uh, the study was conducted between 10th December and 10th February, as you can see. Uh, and what is important, the data file was weighted according not only to demographics, but, but also on uh, internet usage frequency using uh, Eurostat, Eurostat data. Uh, as we needed one point of reference for all countries, one source. Mm, so, let's start from media usage. Uh, and please remember that these are not all Macedonian respondents, but online users, internet users. So, first of all, let's look at cons consumption of particular media in terms of frequency. As, as we can see, internet and traditional t television are dominating uh, consumption, media consumption. Uh, and uh, you can see those red colors. These are daily or almost daily access to the medium. And then less and less frequently, weekly, monthly, less often or never. And if we would like to look at the background of the region, how Macedonia looks like comparing to the general uh, sea perspective, we can see that first of all, internet and traditional television are slightly more frequently consumed in Macedonia than in the region, while the difference is bigger in, in terms of internet, while other media, traditional media, are consumed less frequently than in the region. So we can say that the point is moved a bit to the consumption of television and internet. Uh, if we look, excuse me, okay. If we look also, because frequency and access to media is one thing. The second thing, how much time do we spend per one session, per one day? So we also asked about daily time spent per media and looking at, at this chart, you can observe that, uh, again, an internet is, is winning this, this competition, uh, then traditional TV and then less and less all other media. If we would like to put now those two dimensions, I mean, First of all, average number of days per typical day, which is this, this axis, and also average number of days per month, just to see where 
we can observe particular media, you can see that internet is winning in both, on both dimensions. Then television um, and all other media in this lower part, both in terms of average number of days per month and also average number of hours per typical session or typical day. So the first conclusion is that that internet became the most important medium in terms of all media consumption. Um, and also, it appears from the study that consumption of internet became kind of a lifestyle, as we can say about life, lifestyle, uh, lifetime, lifestyle in terms of watching television. Watching television is not only uh, uh, concentrating all the time on the medium. Sometimes we just turn on the TV and it's just on, although we do not watch it all the time, and it became a lifestyle. From this perspective, consumption of internet became, became also our lifestyle, however, a bit different. Television is consumed more in a more passive way, while the internet, this is the active consumption of the medium. First important conclusion. In terms of consumption, consumption during the day, there are no strong differences between countries and also in, in case of Macedonia comparing to the region. The highest peak during the typical day is after 7 p.m. It looks slightly different, but uh, again, the highest peak is after 7 p.m. when we would look like on the daily consumption, looking at particular hours. Second topic, and this is important that this is important that in our study we we focused on smartphones, not only asking about uh, do you have a smartphone or what types of devices do you have. Uh, as there is still some part of users of smartphones who do not know they have smartphones. They just call it mobile phone. That's why we also uh, asked those who didn't mention smartphone, uh, what features does your mobile phone have? So we could also look at those who didn't mention uh, we have a smartphone, but we looked at some dimensions as, for example, having tactile screen or QWERTY keyboard and also having some features like ability to use internet, navigation, applications, social network, networking services. And looking at access to devices, first conclusion from this part is that smartphones became more popular uh, than other devices. It is observed both in the region and also in, uh, in Macedonia. And the, if we would look like to summarize all those devices, there is a second important conclusion from the project that the consumption of internet became mobile. Internet became mobile as we consume internet via smartphones most frequently or portable PCs, which is also mobile consumption. So we are not tied to the desktop place. We are consuming internet in a mobile manner. So internet is mobile. This is the second conclusion leading to, to the general observation. We are living in the mobile times of consumption of, of the internet. So this is important in influencing also business, marketing, and all areas of daily life, both from the business and also from the private perspective. Uh, if we would like to look at frequency of usage, how often do you use the internet via the following devices? We can see again that smartphones became the most frequently consumed media, I mean, in terms of access to the internet, than other devices. Of course, there is still some part of those who do not use or 
uh, use it not too frequently, I think it's not working too well. Uh, so comparing to portable PCs, taking all together those red and orange colors, uh, there are still more those who consume uh, the internet via portable PCs. However, in terms of daily consumption, in, from the perspective of daily consumption, smartphones became more important than other devices. And if you would like to cons compare this, this perspective, uh, daily consumption to the, to the region, we can see that these trends are very similar in the region. However, and this is important conclusion uh, for Macedonia, uh, all, as you can see, those, those black bars show that the consumption uh, of internet in the daily manner is more frequent uh, than, than in the region. So somehow confirms the conclusion uh, when we were looking at general media consumption. Internet and television is slightly more consumed in Macedonia than, than in the region and it is, it is also confirmed from this perspective. If again we would map those two dimensions, uh, in this case penetration of devices and average number of days per month spent online, we can see we can see the conclusion that consumption of the internet became mobile in terms of penetration and in terms of intensity. Smartphones are in the highest part on the right, then we can see portable PCs and stationary PCs, which will be going slowly down and down and down. And other devices which are maybe not marginal, but not that important from the perspective of uh, intensity of consumption. Excuse me. Multi-screening. Multi-screening, which is directly connected to tele consumption of television. And here again we can see that, um, then that Macedonia is specific uh, in terms of consumption of traditional television. We focused on two types of multi-screening. Uh, first of all is cons consumption of internet and television simultaneously while we can consume, of course, internet via various devices. So we asked about each of the device, how often does it happen that you use internet and television via this device? And also we asked about some kind of a e multi-screening understood as a consumption of the internet via few devices at the same time. So for example, uh, I'm working on my laptop, but from time to time, I use a communicator via my smartphone or I'm just writing something in social media. So these are two indicators, first called the TV plus internet and the second internet in a few devices. And there is a third one, the total indicator, which includes both of them. So either here or there. So, as we can see, in terms of consumption of TV and the internet at the same time, this is, there is 84% of internet users using television and, and uh, internet at the same time, at least from time to time, of course. Uh, and this is the higher score than, than the one observed in the region. Similarly, in case of consumption of internet in a few devices, 75 to 65 percent. And uh, if we take into account multi-screening in general, there is 94 percent comparing to 87 in the region. Uh, when we look at typical activities, maybe there is nothing surprising here as browsing, website surfing, checking or answering emails uh, or those related to job or school, etc., etc. 
and, uh, and other activities which are following the TV content. I mean, for example, I'm searching a product seen on TV, 20%, or I'm a visiting program website, 15%. But if we would take into account all those activities connected with the content observed on TV, there is around 50, 49-50% in Macedonia of those who are following the content seen on TV. So this is important. And every second is following the content observed in television. Another thing, going deeper and looking at activities online via particular devices. Uh, there are four colors of bars. Black ones are PC stationary, then portable smartphones and tablets. As, as you can see, those gray ones uh, are less important than other colors. I mean, th there are still some activities in which stationary computer is more popular. However, if you would lo look at gray versus others, we can see that this consumption is moving more and more to other devices, mobile devices, uh, both PC stationary or smartphones or tablets. So, so the consumption is somehow moving to mobile device, devices. And what is also important, the red color uh, showing activities on smartphones uh, are quite important already. Uh, by the way, important, uh, important note here as you can see, there is more than 100% as these are cumulative data showing uh, all internet users, not, not devices, just to be able to compare devices between each other on the total sample. If we would, like, would, like, would look like to uh, add particular activities versus devices, here is analysis called, um, called correspondence analysis. And it's just showing that something is more typical for a particular device. It doesn't mean it is done uh, uh, more frequently than on other devices. However, this is more typical. If something is closer to the particular device, it means this is a very characteristic feature of this device or the specific way of consumption, specific activity per this device. So we divided those activities from the previous slide to four categories. One is communication. As we can see, uh, smartphones found their specific place on the map of various activities. And communication is very important for these devices. It doesn't mean that we do not use other devices for these purposes, but very specific for smartphones is that they are used for communication. Second perspective. Entertainment. Uh, games are something which is very specific for tablets. Tablets found their niche, maybe, maybe not niche, but specific uh, way of consumption in terms of playing games. Music is just close to the, to the point of both axes, so this is not very, very specific. And video, video which is still more typical for uh, PCs, both stationary or portable. Then the second, the second dimension, information. Uh, in terms of information, one became very specific, which is not a surprise. Uh, those connected with location and maps. So these devices found their, their particular place uh, in terms of location and maps, and the fourth dimension, however, it doesn't mean they are not used for other purposes, of course, but very, very specific for them, which what I said is not surprising. This is what is connected with location. And the, the fourth dimension connected with purchase process and finances. From the perspective of at least final click, because it doesn't mean that we are not using mobile devices as, uh, as tablets or smartphones in the purchase process. This shows that from the perspective 
of the last click or something which is finalizing the process, the most important are still traditional PCs and uh, both portable or stationary. Uh, and from this perspective, what is very important is uh, that looking at the whole purchase process, we cannot just look at the final click. We have, and then we should choose, for example, attribution models showing what is the weight of particular device uh, in the purchase process. Uh, that's why this chart, if we would like to measure conversion, may be misleading, of course. However, this is what I said from the perspective of the final, final click traditional PCs are still the most important. Uh, and this is the map of all those dimensions, all those devices. As you can see, uh, each device has a specific place, what I was trying to show you, using all those four particular dimensions and, and, um, and devices. So, so they are not cannibalizing each other from the perspective of particular devices. However, if we remember the slide showing time spent per particular device, we can observe that mobile are the most important as they are, they are used for all those on-the-go activities very often. Consumer journey online. Uh, this is what is very important because internet became a medium which connected few things in one place, population, distribution, and communication. No other media before was able to connect all those things important from the marketing perspective in the one place. So we asked about various sources of information, various and important for the purchase process. As we can see from terms of usefulness, how uh, mark all sources of information you learn about particular projects uh, from internet is the most important and it is not surprising on the perspective from the perspective of the region the trend is similar observed everywhere the second thing usefulness is one dimension credibility is another thing because something may be useful we we have some information, a lot of information from one place, but this is the question, is it credible? Taking into account credibility, maybe the ranking is not very, very divided like in the previous slide because the differences are smaller. However, the internet is still in the higher part of the ranking, just behind friends and family. Friends and family are still the most credible source of information, it is not surprising. However, this is very important that internet became competitive for experts and specialists, for example, or even for information from the brand provided with the product, for example. So if you would like to map those two dimensions, usefulness and credibility, we can see that internet is one of the most important sources of information, taking into account both media as other sources of information, for example, friends, information from the brand, and this is what cannot be omitted when thinking about marketing. In terms of offline triggers, uh, this is a, a interesting information as we asked if uh, the internet users, does it happen that you read, watch, or seen inter, uh, 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 search internet to find information on, on other media? For example, did something inspire you on TV to follow this information in the internet? As you, as you can see, that other media become important triggers for the research online process. And, we, and if we asked, what the, did it happen that you found out about the particular brand for the first time, for the first time from the internet? So you never knew about the brand and you found, found out about it from the internet. It appeared that in the region, more than 
uh, confirmed that it was the first source of information on a particular brand, and what is important information taking into account indicators for Macedonia, 75% said this was the first source of information about the particular brand. So, again, another important topic. I think there is a, something wrong on the slide. Uh, I will explain. Don't look at those 50, 64 so far. Don't look at it. Uh, we asked about online advertising triggers. So first was the trigger of other media, then okay, let's try to find out if internet starts the purchase process, taking into account particular online communication solutions. And all of them are somehow important in the process. However, we tried to look at display. In this case, we were trying to look at display and there is a switch of colors as, uh, as I can see. So on the CE level, there is a 50%. I mean, 50% of respondents chose one of display formats which were starting the purchase process, while in Macedonia there is 60, 64%. So again, comparing to the region, this is higher indicator. Uh, also, not only triggers, but also those services online which are important when we are making a research online web pages of brands, specialist websites, internet shops. So internet is offering a wide portfolio of sources of information where we can follow our purchase process. Usefulness. These are details, not, let's not focus maybe on this, but we also asked about usefulness of, um, of the internet taking into account purchase funnel. So starting from planning purchase to shopping and being an ambassador of the brand. As we can see, on the particular dimensions, internet is evaluated differently. However, more in case of all dimensions, more than 50% agreed that definitely yes, or rather yes on the five-point scale, it is useful in the purchase process. Purchase potential. I think that I'm running out of time. So just quickly, we looked at also purchase indicators. So first of all, those who made the research online and then purchased something. So those who bought something basing on information found online, there, there is more then 77% of Macedonian online users who declared they bought something basing on information found online. It is slightly more than in the region. Purchase online, 55% in Macedonia, so this is e-commerce indicator, slightly lower than in the region. There is 61% observed in the region, so in terms of e-commerce, this indicator in Macedonia is a bit lower, however, it is more than 50% and we can expect probably increases as it is observed everywhere. So, summarizing quickly, uh, the study shows that, as I said, internet became a lifestyle and it is very, very important from both perspectives, business and private perspective, became very useful source and credible source of information of the process so it cannot be omitted from the marketing perspective. The second thing, consumption of the internet became mobile so we have to remember always about it, planning our activities, our communication. And the third thing, what, uh, what was at the end, that taking into purchase process this is, the process is very, very different taking account particular product or particular service. So uh, it must be 
it must be taking into account detailed analysis and, as I said, for example, uh, all those models uh, showing the role of particular devices, particular websites. So, uh, advanced analytics, and this is the future of, of, uh, of marketing, because analytics uh, became, became, become more and more important, and uh, internet is providing more and more data. And what is important, we are at the beginning of Internet of Things uh, uh, time. So, so it will be more and more data, will be more and more important. And uh, taking a, a account particular phases of digitalization, now we are facing the moment when products will be computers. Computers are not only standalone tools. Products become more and more computers, our shoes, our wallets, etc., etc. So, wishing you growing your business and using the internet as a useful marketing tool. Thank you very much again, and good luck.